Hello, Mike Adams here with Mike's Damn Photo Journal. I thought since we're all isolated, I'd start putting together a few little videos about some of the old stuff from the Glen Canyon Dam construction days and, you know, Page, Arizona, all those early photos. I've got a lot of photos in my uh, personal stash of photos that I have to share with you. And so I thought, hey, while we're isolated, you know, let's do something a little bit different. Let's do something to kind of break up the monotony of, you know, all this social distancing that's going on and, and let's uh, be as social as we can. And so I thought, hey, I'm going to put together some videos here of early page of the construction of Glen Canyon Dam, just little short things. Uh, I'll put together a few of them and just see where this thing goes. And I'm like, why not? You know, I got time. Uh, you probably have time too. So let's do this and see where it goes. And I'll be putting these on my YouTube channel and on Facebook and on the website. So they'll be there for you. So let's get going on this first one, shall we? Hey, I thought we'd start by looking at the concrete batch plant. I mean, what could be more fun than looking at the concrete batch plant? I remember this thing really well. I, I always wanted to go in it. I never got a chance to, but I always wanted to. But it sat on the uh, visitor center side of the canyon, obviously before there was a visitor center. And you can see that the, uh, the main structure there, the concrete batch plant, I'm told that was about a 30-story building. So this thing was big. It, you know, it doesn't look huge in this picture, but some of the other photos that I have that I'm going to show you, you'll see people standing around it, and you'll get an idea for just exactly how big it was. But it sat there on that ledge. You know, that ledge was cut out of the uh, cliff there in order to uh, have this batch plant sitting on it. And out from underneath that batch plant, there's a railroad. So once upon a time, you know, Page had its own little railroad down there in the canyon. And that little railroad spans the right keyway of where the dam's going to eventually go when it's anchored into the rock there, into the side of the, of the canyon. But at this point, the bridge or the dam wasn't that high. And so those tracks ran out across that area. Kind of a little makeshift train would park underneath the batch plant and it had a each each train had two hoppers that would be filled up with you know the wet concrete and then it would travel out onto tracks onto those onto that uh, little bridge area there and it would dump into the uh, the bucket and then a cableway operator would take those buckets down to the dam wherever the uh, pour was going on so you, you'll see pictures of that too in just a second but this is the uh, batch plant right above it there that silver building right above it was the ice plant and maybe we can come back at some future date and talk more about the ice plant. The six bins, the yellow bins that are above the ice plant there, are where the actual uh, dry powder cement was stored. Remember, it was shipped in from Clarkdale. It, it went around the clock there. Uh, those trucks ran up US-89 and, and continually brought that dry cement powder up for this project. Going back just a little bit to the right, you'll see that little cooling tower right above the uh, batch plant. And then off to the right, even further, you'll see those piles of aggregate that were used to mix the concrete. Off to the left, you'll see the uh, carved face of the beehives cut off, as well as one of the cableway towers is sitting there. Now, something you can't see in this photo very clear is down here on the bottom left, right at the end of the railway, that's where the cableway operators sat. There were, there were two uh, booths, one above the other. You'll see it in other photos where those operators sat to uh, operate the uh, cableways. So that mystery is solved for you, if that's something that you were ever wondering about. In this next picture, it's kind of the same thing, but a little different angle. But again, you can, you can see something of the size. You can see some people and equipment up there on the railway to give you a little bit of an idea of the dimensions of this thing. And again, you can't see it real well, but over here to the left at the end of the railway was where the uh, operator sat for the cableway as they would lift equipment and concrete and personnel up and down from the top of the canyon to the bottom down to the dam site. This photo here is actually taken from the top of the uh, batch plant or near the top of the batch plant looking down on the little railway and you can see that that uh, little train car there has two hoppers in it ready to dump and there's also a bucket on the way up a bucket is actually going to sit on that ledge just to the left of one of those hoppers. And then the hopper is going to dump over and dump its concrete load into that bucket. And then the operator is going to take that bucket back down to the bottom. But you'll notice here too that there's a net below this on the left side. 
I've got some photos I'm going to show you in just a second of some people walking along that little walkway there. You can see a, a small ladder there, which I guess isn't really a small ladder, but it looks tiny in this one, and it'll give you a little bit more of an idea of the size of this operation. But that net was a safety net there to catch anyone who fell. Unfortunately, if you did step off the end, the edge there and, and fall, you had a good 20, 30 feet before that net caught you. So it wasn't real close, so that would be you know, a bit of a scare. At least it would be for me. This photo here is just another shot of the uh, of the rails. This is from down on the uh, railway platform itself. The batch plant is just behind and to the left of this photographer. This shot is actually looking up toward Manson Mesa with, you know, Paige in the distance up there over the uh, train car that's got the two hoppers in it with a load of concrete. And now over here on the right, you see these two little uh, windowed areas right here. Th those are where the operator sat for the uh, cable way for the overhead cranes. And here's another view, kind of the same thing. You can see that the uh, cable way operator uh, booths or stations down there on the end where they would run the show, really. And in this picture, if we look closely in the middle, you'll see someone standing there on that walkway near where that bucket is sitting and you can see that the uh, the hopper is in the middle of dumping a load of concrete into that bucket and as soon as that's full that bucket will be taken down to the dam and poured wherever the pour the active pour is going on so that gives you a little bit more of an idea of again the size of this thing it wasn't a small operation by any means and this photo here is taken from down in the dam site looking up at the concrete uh, batch plant and you can see that there's two buckets in transit. I don't know if they're going up or down, it, but they're moving. They're in transit. So this is a view from down near the bottom of the canyon, uh, looking up at the batch plant. You can see the ice, the ice plant there in the background, uh, just over the, uh, the ridge there. And you can catch a little bit of the cooling tower as well. Notice, too, the uh, stairways on the side of the uh, batch plant as well as the walkways from the canyon out to the batch plant. This picture here is actually from inside one of the uh, cable operator stations looking over his shoulder. You can see that he's either lowering or raising a bucket. It's just, uh, it's just above his head there. You can see the buckets in transit. He's either taking it down to uh, have it dumped or he's bringing an empty bucket back up for another load. And to his right, you can see the uh, the dam as it's being constructed. This is another look over that operator's uh, shoulder. This is looking back toward the uh, batch plant. You can see the train is out there. You can see this bucket is either leaving or just arriving. And you can also see there's a worker there standing there with a hose, hosing off that wet concrete so it doesn't build up. And it looks like, I'm guessing, that this bucket is on its way down since he's there cleaning it up. And it looks like the hopper in the train is still in motion going back to its uh, upright position. At least I hope it's not going to dump on that guy. But this is actually a look upstream from the dam. And I'm sorry it's a little bit blurry, but it's the best I can do. Here's another shot from kind of the same perspective. I think this is a little bit lower. I'm not sure where the photographer was on this one. But it's the same thing. We've got our worker down there. We've got the bucket either coming or going and the train either coming or going, and then in the far background you can see again that batch plant. And here's another good shot of the same thing. You can see here up on the uh, uh, railway deck there's a person walking. So that'll give you some perspective on the size. You can see that there's a bucket there sitting uh, ready to go down. It's being loaded up right now. And again the uh, batch plant is in the background there. And this is actually a shot from inside the train itself. Looking down the track there, you can see there's an individual there down on the left side uh, doing something and, and kind of blurry and fuzzy in the background there. You can see the uh, cableway operator booths there at the, end of the rail at the end of the railroad. And this is from pretty close to that same perspective, but just another perspective on what was going on. Then this is actually a look back at the uh, train operator's uh, window as the train is parked underneath the batch plant. And here's a view from up a little bit higher looking down at the batch plant. You can see the ice plant there on the left side. You can see the cooling tower. You can see the conveyor belt into the top of the uh, batch plant. You can see some walkways from the canyon out. And you can also, on the right side of the uh, batch plant, you can see those external stairs. Also, this is a good shot uh, down in the canyon of that upper cofferdam. 
A coffer dam was built to divert the water around the dam while construction was happening. And this picture here is a little bit later on. You can see the dam's getting up there. It's actually in the keyway now. When the dam got that high, of course, the uh, train cars didn't go out that. They just traveled out as far as that ledge uh, would allow them to go and dump their stuff there into the buckets. And you can see here there's a bucket in transit. I don't know at this point where the uh, cableway operators moved to, but they had to have moved by this point or shortly after this point so that they could see what they were doing. But again, I don't have any clue where they moved to. So if you do, let me know. But this is a good shot again of the ice plant, of the uh, dry cement silos, of the cooling tower, and of the gravel pits there behind uh, behind it all. And this is an old photo from the Arizona Republic. Unfortunately, I don't have a date on this, but you can see in this picture, you can see those walkways. Uh, you can see the conveyor belt at the top, and then you can see some walkways where there are some people standing there. Also on the very far right, there's another group of people standing right at the edge of the picture. So again, it gives you a, a little bit of an idea of the size of this project. And of course, it's all gone now. That ledge is underwater, and this is all a bit of history. So anyway, I was just kind of uh, sitting here wanting to go through something, and I thought I'd grab these pictures for you and throw them out here and uh, see what you think. So we'll do this again here real soon. Bye.